What's going on everybody? So today I have something really cool to share with you all. Now I cannot show you the actual document as per usual in any graphics or anything like that. However, I can give you guys basically an explanation of this new game mode. Now, this looks to be after my brief review of this, this looks to be something similar uh, to like a, I don't know, some sort of like power ascension mode or like void tower. Just to give you guys an idea. This is going to be a brand new game mode, 75 different levels, new mechanics, bosses, rewards, and things like that. It's an entirely new game mode and it's a bi-monthly set of challenges. It refreshes every 14 days and all challenging progress will be reset after refreshing. So again, it's that kind of monthly, bi-weekly, or bi-monthly reset. Um, so definitely something that uh, is very similar to those Void Tower type game modes. And the idea is to clear all stages to get to the top of the city, beating all the bosses, and you grab lots of items for the powerful special hero. So maybe a potentially free hero here um, in the end of this elemental city. And I will say before we even jump into kind of like the format and what it's gonna look like, <laughs> reaching the top of this is probably not realistic for 99% of the player base. Reaching the top of anything in this game is almost impossible unless you've spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars, right? Tower of Mark 30, uh, Faction Abyss 30, Dungeon Level 30, or, you know, at this point, 35. None of those things are really realistic for the free-to-play slash average uh, low spender since Global Launch. No one, almost no one can do it. And so just to give you an idea to, to have the expectation that we're gonna be able to beat this is not the expectation you should be coming in with this, okay? But then we have two uh, different kinds of stages. We have the normal stages and the special stages with each with their own rewards. The special stages can only be unlocked after their corresponding normal stages are cleared. Each special stage is independent of each other. So you can choose whatever difficulty you wanna play on. Whether or not to clear one stage will not affect any existing game progress. There'll be multiple rotations, stages change, means new challenges and new strategies. Uh, third, it doesn't take stamina or keys. You can challenge it how many stages you want, or you, you can, but please note that each stage cannot be challenged again after victory. So first off, I wanna mention, I love the fact that they don't use stamina. I love the fact they don't use keys. It's just, you can just keep challenging until you beat it. I love that aspect. That's a really nice quality of life aspect that a lot of other games fail to do. So I really want to praise them on that one. Now let's talk about, talk about structure. Uh, here we go. The whole elemental city is divided into three types of stages. We have normal stages, boss stages, and well, they say boss stages again, but I think they mean special stages. Um, there are three waves of tough enemies in the normal stages. Every fifth stage is the boss stage where you will fight some of the hardest bosses. Okay. Uh, and then the boss stage will provide a new item called elemental fragment, which can summon a specific legendary hero. Donald Rebelli is elemental is the first hero we will let we will touch on who he is later. Okay, the wording on this is a little bit off, but um, Donald Rebelli is the new hero that we're going to be able to get. And it looks like similar to raid how you're getting fragments of like Archmage helmet when you first start Doom Tower, um, you're going to get basically fragments of this character who knows how long and what level of this mode we're gonna have to beat in order to unlock fragments of him we do not know that but if it is later on in this elemental city that could be potentially a whale territory for a new character we'll see though there are exclusive items uh, exclusive to the elemental city and we will let you summon heroes you can't get anywhere else as you work your way through the dungeon you unlock special stages these are optional challenges if you can't beat one it won't block your progress there are special rules for completing them like only using epic heroes um, special stage will drop elemental exclusives which is the use uh used to upgrade the exclusive of specified legendary hero obtained in elemental city okay so cool so we're gonna have basically this is gonna be doom tower of brain shadow legends where you're gonna have like rare um um side stages and all that good stuff where you only have to use rare characters or whatever or only use epic characters only use sunset sages or only attack or only red mark characters etc etc 
which is, I think, really cool because it expands the, the need to build a wider roster. However, I will say, if you're going to do this, it would be really nice to get extra fodder acquisition, some way to alleviate the fodder issue. And some people say it's not an issue. I highly disagree with them. The idea that, oh, you can get let's say one awakened five character in two weeks or three weeks is significantly longer than even raid shadow legends which is something that well a lot of people compare the game to and a lot of people view as raid being one of the worst games out there in terms of player friendliness and yet they are already doing something better than infinite magic raid in terms of being able to build out units so they do especially probably need to focus on working on getting better fodder acquisition if they're going to make us expand our rosters even more now the rules are rigorous but the rewards are really nice um for these for these uh special stages and if this legendary is really great we could potentially get all of the exclusives free to play through completing the um the stages here which is pretty cool okay so i do like that aspect continuing on here um elemental city is supposed to be challenging but we don't want to make it unfair or only for the best players in infant magic grade okay now this is an interesting statement by them i'm already like hmm i don't know i don't know if you can even do that <laughs> um but okay we want this touch to be fun we're really looking for your feedback on this a quick tip for you if you're stuck on a stage why not find some help you can now offer and borrow an awakened five character from other guild members in normal stages there are 10 chances in each session to fight against the enemies with the help of assistant hero only one assistant hero can be deployed each time interesting so now you could use assisted characters this makes people wailing in your guild really good for you so that's interesting i very much like that aspect i think that's pretty cool um if someone has an e3 nicholas in your guild have them put them on the kind of assisted characters list and then just abuse the heck out of it right last but not least let's talk about rewards the first few stages are not difficult and even new players can get a nice reward diamonds xp potions energy dragon eggs and skill scrolls all of which love to see it most important items in it are the elemental fragment and elemental exclusive again to get the legendary itself and to get the exclusives of that specific legendary 50 shards for the elemental exclusive upgrades a legendary similar to mythic fragments and then elemental fragments you're getting to 100 to get that legendary hero as we mentioned we should talk about the exclusive hero donald Ravelli, who's the first hero Finally, we have the Elemental City rankings, which are split into two categories. Um, oh, here are his skills. So Donald Ravelli, it doesn't actually show the skills. I imagine when this update actually drops, maybe later today, you're going to get the information on that one. We have the Elemental City rankings, which are split into two categories, Global and Warzone. Adventurers are ranked according to your progress and how quickly you pass through the stages. You only show up in the rankings uh, after you pass normal stage 35. It's possible to farm the stages so that you can get a higher ranking after clearing the final stage. What's your opinion about the new dungeons? If you enjoyed the post and found it useful, don't forget to share. Okay, so they didn't explain um, too much about the new character, right? They just said he was gonna be pretty solid and that these, uh, these rewards are the best. They didn't mention about the rewards too much, right? I imagine it's gonna be very similar to Raid, but I will say the overall idea of this game mode is really cool. It's really awesome. I love to see void tower type modes. And to be honest, we don't really have that type of mode in this game. We have the Tower of Marks, which are probably the closest to um, a, a void tower at the current moment, but something like, you know, this where it's 75 challenges, it's refreshing every two weeks and all that stuff is actually really cool. I don't know about you all, but I personally find that there's actually not a lot of things to do in this game. I will play for literally about an hour a day actively and I'm done. I'll do all my dailies, I'll finish all my stuff, and then I'll run a macro to run to finish off the dungeons and I'll leave it in the background, right? For raid or for um eternal evolution, it's completely different, right? Eternal evolution. I don't even need to run a macro. I just finish it off in an hour and I'm done for the whole day. Raid, I'm sitting there and I'm playing the game for four hours straight, right? I just have to play the game actively. Now, I don't think Raid is a good way to go. I think Eternal Evolution is a completely fine state. But I also think that for those players that want a little bit more of an active gameplay, being able to play the game for an hour and a half, two hours a day is a good sign. Adding something like this where you have to do it every two weeks and you could do it on your own time. You say you want to do your dailies and you spend an hour on the game one day and then the next day you're like, you know what? I want to play the game more and then you can go in and do something like the elemental city i think this is absolutely great for the game now they claim for it to be 
not only for the best players in Infinite Magic grade. Now, I consider myself a mid to end game player. That is what I would consider myself. I've been playing this game for about, um, well, it came out in September 9th, I believe. So it's been about five months, almost five months now. And I would consider myself a mid to end game player. That's what I would do, right? I, I've beaten uh, a lot of the stages. I am at a reasonable level. The only thing I need to do now is a gather more mythic shards and level up my exclusives and auras and talents, which is just like infinite grind basically. So with that being said, I would expect someone of my level, who's also a low spender in this game, to maybe beat, not the end, but get reasonably far. I'm thinking probably about stage 50, stage 60 maybe, and I think that's probably a reasonable thing to expect for someone, again, if this content's coming out, not have it be able to be beaten by these low spenders slash free to play players, but something that's it's actually a goal to be achieved. I expect that the absolute, the, the whales and the krakens are gonna be able to beat it on day one. And I expect for someone like myself to be progressing at least decently far into it. That's what I wanna see. Again, not a cakewalk. I like to see difficult content, but something that I can actually engage with, right? Because if I'm doing dungeons, like when they release stage 30 to 31 to 35 dungeons, I can't engage with it. I just can't do anything like with it. I, I just cannot participate in that game mode. And if this is only where I can go to stage 20 or 30, you know, that's not the worst because I'm already con you know, engaging with the content and I can see what happens and all that good stuff. And, and you know, um, I, I enjoy the difficult content, but I'd like to see it, you know, being able to push a little bit further than that. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about this, again, is to see all these new units built and all these different strategies to go for. If this is offering some really good rewards, like potentially Dragon Eyes um, or some sort of um, a really massive like five-star dragon eggs. This might be the new focus after your Tower of Mark or your Faction Abyss focus. Instead of trying to like min-max those, focusing on Elemental City might be the way to go, which is kind of similar to, you know, Raid, where you're focusing dungeons or clan boss dungeons, and then you kind of go into, okay, Factions and Doom Tower, and you try to finish those two, right? That's kind of the, the natural progression step for Raid. And I'd like to see a similar thing in, in, in Infinite Magic Raid because I think that's actually a good thing for the game. So overall, guys, really, really cool update, really amazing. And as I mentioned, it will be released this week. So when this video comes out, I believe they'll drop an announcement either before this video comes out or later on today. The official patch notes, I'm not quite sure. Their update schedule is a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm recording this video, um, well, a little bit later on so uh you know if they drop it up drop an update i'll probably be asleep so i figured i'd record this video before i go to sleep that way i can go ahead and get you guys the video right in the morning um and give you guys my initial thoughts but if they do drop an actual patch notes to this video or after this video or before i'll go over that one as well so if you guys want to check out that video be sure to sub to the channel there's also a few other things I want to talk about, like the new summoning events coming out and how that ended up <laughs> working out. I didn't want to talk about it much in this video um, because, well, I felt like we should just stick on to the patch notes. But I do have some thoughts to share about that one. So you guys might see that one tomorrow as well, because I don't necessarily like the way they're handling the summoning events, even though I think the summoning events are pretty cool. But anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this new boy tower type game mode. I think it's really, really cool. And I'm very excited. Honestly, this is the most exciting update that we've gotten since the launch of the game. So I'm excited to see how it rolls out. I'm excited to see the rewards and I'm excited to see the difficulty of this dungeon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>